Hello, I'm Don McLaren. Welcome to my series called Could It Happen? We'll be discussing anything that may be relevant, humorous, sacred, and anything that uh, pertains to life. So thank you and let's get started. Americans are innovative, practical people. The idea is not just a wall. We want something good to go with it. That would have to be, probably, the idea of solar panels. Imagine 1,500 miles of solar panels providing electricity for the communities or government buildings. That would be worth it to have the solar. All right, well, let's say we go for something bigger. We could have the wind turbines so that we could create electricity for the 1,500 miles or so of the wall. So let's make sure we can make use of the wall for very practical purposes. And therefore, we could provide electricity for nearby towns or even for government facilities. Let's do something greater. That's the idea. We certainly don't want all the graffiti or anti-democracy graffiti or anti-USA graffiti on the wall. That could happen. It happened in Berlin when people voiced their opinion against all the uh, brutality of communism. So let's say that uh, we've got to be careful to see what the wall is going to do, and it should be more practical than just have constant graffiti put on it. Now, here's another idea. The wall could possibly use the solar panel energy from the sun to create neon messages to people, messages with decorations or even messages of warning saying desert Death ahead if you trespass into the desert. This is a significant life-saving warning. So we might be able to highlight the wall for practical purposes to save lives. Now, here we are looking at possibly the use of modern art on the Trump wall. That would be very creative. The possible problem is that artists may not want to put art or their creative ideas on such a wall. After all, we could use modern art to try to show other countries that America is not all bad or that America is not all about walls. After all, we have the Constitution, we have Bill of Rights, we're a law-abiding country, and we're about helping others, not hating others. So modern art may have a unique possibility for the wall. Certainly some people would love to see a hateful, or threatening image of neon light up the wall. But the point of this is that America should never be portrayed as deadly, hateful, cruel. There are plenty of dictators right now who run their countries that way. And there is also plenty of hate before, during the fascist times and Nazi times. We are Americans. We should not be deadly, hateful, and cruel to others. That's the purpose of this image. We are not 
what this image portrays. Here's another image that could be either painted on the wall or just part of a neon sign. But of course, this is the American image of its eagle. Possible problem of such an image is that it appears so threatening. How will children look at America with a threatening, antagonistic eagle? We should soar higher, think higher, believe higher in others and in ourselves. Yes, there are millions of people who would love to have this image on the wall but does it really serve the better purpose? This is how we have to start thinking how we can portray America to ourselves, to others. Now here's an example of how the wall could show some very beautiful pictures of current artists. And actually uh, it could present a very peaceful, attractive view of America. But the problem is that it may show America as too friendly and the wall is not meant to be friendly. The wall is meant to keep people out, almost everybody out. So it is a difficult situation of trying to present beauty or the respect of America and yet have a wall that would cross the country for thou over a thousand miles. So here we are considering whether this kind of beautiful wall could be done. Now the question is whether animals would serve a purpose because there are certainly beautiful animals that could be shown on the wall. Would these be too friendly to others who are trying to cross illegally? Uh, is the wall only a sinister wall to not be friendly at, at any point? But animals certainly represent nature common to our both countries, Mexico and the United States. And we could certainly use animals to present some sort of peaceful attitude. Is it worth it? Now here's an example of how scenery might play a role and an image on the wall. For example, this looks to be North America, but it may be similar to forests in Mexico and uh, the possibility of serene, quiet places, try to have people rethink crossing the border. So the whole idea is to present something lovely, nice, peaceful, but again, trying to keep the wall in its place. This is a consideration too of scenery. Here's another example of modern art, and it simply shows how desperate people may stand in line for a long time to try to get something. Food, shelter, clothing, medicine in other countries, and they may certainly stand in long lines for days or weeks to try to get help, even to come to America. So America offers hope and help, but this is a symbol, maybe on the wall, to show the desperation of people. All the thoughts that we have shared with you is meant to stimulate your thinking to see about what you think about Trump's wall.